with that. Guys, we are uh, running low on time, but we got plenty of time for our afterburns of the week. Mike, I, yeah, you told me who you're going to afterburn, and I was a little suspect, but you have to have a good reason. I respect your opinion. There's probably a very good reason why you're going to burn this fine, fine establishment. So my afterburn of the week goes to the Wendy's fast food location on Fisher Home and Road in Kitchener, Ontario. <laughs> this location is the fucking worst. A fucking monkey could run this place better than the staff there. We've all worked in fast food. You know, it's not a pleasant thing to do by any means. But if I walk in there and I say, hi, how are you today? And you're the girl or guy at the counter. Don't look at me and say, good. So that's pet peeve number one. Wow. So, you're salty really <laughs> easily. That's what I'm learning. Mike, um, never moved to New York City. You would get mad very easily. <laughs> yeah, I would stab people in probably 45 seconds. Um, anyways, so the girl tells us that they have no fries, nuggets, or um, something else because their fry is broken. No big deal. Whatever. So my wife and I make our orders, and we get salads instead of fries. And they screw up my wife's salad. And they give us our stuff. And I'm like, uh, can I have a lid for this, please? So I can, you know, put my dressing on and shake it. And the girl looks at me and goes, well, I guess, but you don't really need it. Well, you kind of do. So anyways, so that's that. Uh, what else happened? Oh, they screwed up the burger as well. Ordered it with just uh, cheese and ketchup, and everything came on it. It's not that fucking hard to not put things on a fucking burger. Yeah, I mean, I know how you feel. I'm lactose intolerant, and whenever people put cheese on something, when I say, I either don't say anything or I say no cheese, I think you literally had to take an extra step to do what I didn't want you to do. Right, like, we didn't want, well, my wife didn't want pickles and onions on this burger. You literally created more work for yourself. Yep. Um, what else? There was something else about it, too. I don't remember. Oh, so we ordered the yeah, combos. We like were so, trip to Wendy's ever. Yeah. Right. So you order, we order combos, so it comes with your burger, your side, and your drink. She gives us one fucking cup. <laughs> <laughs> Two I'm, like, one cup. I'm just like, uh, can we have a second cup? She goes, well, you have to pay for that. I said, yeah. <laughs> I ordered the combo. <laughs> and it's, like I said, it's not just this time. Like, we've gone, you know, we might go maybe once every three weeks or so. And every time that we go, we've gone for probably the last three, four months, something's happened. So, Wendy's on Fisher Home and Road in Kitchener, Ontario, you've just been afterburned. Boom. I wish we had a toilet. I wish we had sound effects <laughs> toilet being flushed. Bobby, who's burning, bro? Uh, I guess I'm going to burn the company handy. <laughs> I ordered a dresser on Wayfair, and they offer assembly. And they sent this guy who was supposed to assemble my dresser. And two hours passed, and I have now a half-built dresser sitting in my living room. Uh, he didn't finish it and then also started to ask me for more money, at which point I pretty what? very politely told him to get out of my apartment. But later I got an email with like a bunch of smiley faces basically being like, how is your handy service? <laughs> um, so yeah, handy, I'm not very pleased with you and will never use you again. <laughs> I'm going to stick mine to football. I'm after burning the shit out of the Cincinnati Bengals and specifically Andy Dalton because my Steelers just destroyed you. I was so happy with the second half performance of the Steelers. But I got a funny story too. My buddy who uh, was a, he works in production, he actually got to go to ESPN for some filming or something they were doing. And he met Herm Edwards and he overheard somebody in the Herm, Herm Edwards talking about it last year after a Thursday night game. And, and Andy Dalton threw a couple picks. And I said, Herm, what did you think about the game last night? Andy did what he did, throw picks. <laughs> Guess what, Andy? You did what you're supposed to do, and you threw picks. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It feels good to afterburn someone. 